Good evening and thanks so much for joining us on your Friday. I'm Sophie Erber. And I'm Tim Seaman. Iowa has had a school choice law on the books now for nearly two years. And critics continue to raise concerns. Why Democratic leaders say new data may indicate trouble for Iowa's public schools under this voucher program in our top story at six. The Iowa Department of Education says since the program began in 2023, 13 public schools closed. In contrast, 36 new private schools opened. Just four of those opened in rural communities. While the Des Moines Metro added 13 new private schools. The total cost of the voucher program so far, $360 million. Democratic lawmakers say it has put a real strain on the districts. You can't take $363 million out of a system and not understand why 16 schools closing in two years doesn't have, isn't impacted by that $363 million that could have gone to public education. Defendants of the voucher program say public schools still receive about $1,200 in funding when a student chooses a private school and notes that legislators increased school funding by 3% this year. Opponents maintain that the amount isn't meeting budget standards or needs. Confirst says Iowans should pay attention to their local district and contact their representatives about their own concerns. Because our school board members are the ones who are working so hard to do this work every day, but it's the state legislature that makes these decisions and puts them in a bind. So go directly to your state legislator and demand that they put public money toward public schools where their tax dollars are transparently accountable. In July, Governor Kim Reynolds of Iowa announcing more than 30,000 applications had been approved for the Iowa Voucher Program. Income requirements for students will no longer be required beginning next October. The program is expected to be fully implemented by 2030. Governor Reynolds' office releasing a statement today about the Democrats' press conference on school vouchers. Her deputy communications director saying in part, quote, as Governor Reynolds has said, the idea that Iowa's traditional public schools charge Charter schools and private schools are engaged in a zero-sum struggle is both unhelpful and wrong. Instead, all schools are an indispensable part of a single education system that's responsible for every Iowa child.